Cancer. This reading can be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's have a look and see what comes up for love here for the sign of Cancer. Okay, there's choices, there's confusion, there's conflict, there's a lot happening in love, okay. There's anger tied in, uh, resistance, fending someone off, okay. Third party situations here, choosing between exes and, and new connections, choosing between two lovers. Um, if this is not you choosing, maybe the person you're seeing has a choice in love or options in love. Um, the tower card. For some of you, things things happen very, very quickly. It's, it's next to the Knight of Swords here. Um, now, for some of you, there's there's two uh, air cards here. So this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you have been dealing with an air sign, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords can show that there might be an air sign that's deeply confused about you. Maybe this air sign was quick to leave. Um, you can see that there's the Knight of Swords rushes away. Um, there's no other card before him, so uh, I feel as though there might have been an air sign or someone that was very quick to leave or jump to conclusions or very quick to form a judgment um, and, and perhaps acted a little bit irrationally in a situation or might act a little bit irrationally in a situation here this month, Cancer. Um, it doesn't have to be an air sign, can be any sign really, but this goes to show that communication, someone's quick to exit a communication or um, quick to stop talking or to end things. But there's pain and hurt present, either next to this person, maybe next to you. Maybe you're confused between head and heart. You know, the swords rule all things uh, logic and, and, and rationale and reason, whereas the heart is, is matters of um, emotion. Um, so some of you could be somewhat confused between heart and head, what your head is telling you to do, what your heart is telling you to do. Um, again, three of swords, and then you've got that three of wands, and two pillars and two sphinxes i i i really believe for a lot of you there's two very special but very different connections coming in around you and it's going to be quite intense with the seven of wands now for others that don't have this um, third party uh you're you're connected to one person you know there's no one else you're thinking about there's no one else you want to, you know you're entertaining the thought of being with then uh, these cards could indicate that there could be some obstacles or hardship coming up for either you as an individual or for your partner and it's going to require your support um, they could be going through an addiction they might be going through loss they could be going through pain drama at work there might be something here with the tower card uh, that makes them feel a little bit off um, a defensive you know and it might not necessarily have anything to do with you, Cancer, but I feel like with that strong foundation here with this tower card, they're looking for someone that can really be that solid foundation. And and I feel like they're going to seek that from you. I do. Um, I feel like it's going to be a testament. Whatever this is that's coming, really be a testing phase for your relationships and connections. Um, and they can really show what sort of, it's almost like you're getting a preview for the future here. And the High Priestess has the ability to reveal our future. And the Three of Wands is all about long-term vision, long-term planning, um, you know, strapping yourself in for the long haul here. So it's either someone wants to be long-term with you or the, the foundation that you're bringing to the relationship is someone really is going to connect. And it could very well be a fire sign here with the fire and the fire, the Wands, which would be an Aries, a Sagittarius or a Leo. This person is going to see you for what you are and they're going to see greatness in you, okay? They're going to see or understand that you are their destiny, okay? So, I mean, there's, there is a lot of powerful things happening in, in, um, in, in, in terms of love. I really feel for a lot of you, there's, if you're not, you know, maybe this ex hasn't returned. Maybe you're drawing comparison to this person, to this new person with your ex, um, but they're two very different people and they're two very different connections. That's not to say if you choose one now, you can't choose. But I feel like destiny is, 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 is hovering around you, maybe trying to push you, so to speak, to make that decision or to make a decision. But there's confusion, there's pain. Um, for those that are not coupled up, you're potentially meeting people and it's very one-sided or it's not the right time 
Um, I think for a lot of you with the Chariot and the Queen of Cups, you're ready for love, you're ready for commitment, you're ready for that emotional codependency. But the people that you might be connecting with might be, you know, with the Tower card, there's confusion, there's pain. Maybe they only want something physical. Maybe it's one-sided because they can't offer you in return what you're offering them. Um, so for a lot of you, there could be even a few flings, like up to two or three people that you might meet, or two or three instances and or situations that may arise in the upcoming month where you meet someone and it's very, very fleeting cancer. Whether you meet them online, you work with them, uh, you meet them through the community, spiritually. I don't feel like the people that you're encountering, the cards that are coming up indicate people that are defensive or resistant to love. They've either had bad experiences in their recent past, they're still healing from something here. Some of you can definitely be dealing with a person who's healing from something else still, and they're still in that transitional phase. Um, but there will be a lot of people that will come and go, I feel, around you. But again, for a lot, I definitely feel like there's a major decision, okay, or a choice and you're thinking about the future. Things are changing here, Cancer. I mean, you're evolving as a person. You're thinking more about the long term now. So if you see these patterns in the people around you, maybe it's a sign that right now that's not what they can offer you. They can't fulfill those long term desires and goals that you have put out there to the universe. Let's move on and have a look at your career, though, Cancer, and see what sort of comes up here. Um... But I love that you've come up as a chariot because I feel like moving on, moving forward in, in a lot of areas of your life, not only in love, uh, is coming up for you. Okay, the death card, there's endings um, or leaving something behind here, leaving a job, leaving behind a career with the death card here. It could also be a Scorpio, a Leo, an Aries coming up around you in terms of work and creative pursuits. Okay, definitely a lot of big things happening in terms of career. You've got the beautiful Wheel of Fortune card, so destiny is shifting, is working in your favor. The wheels are about to turn, and a lot of you are going to be receiving increased fortune. You're going from the 6th to the 7th to the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, there's definitely a pay rise. Um, but Wheel of Fortune is, is things happening that we, we almost feel like it's unlikely. So increased pay, becoming famous, something really taking off, an idea picking up, you gaining momentum. It's a beautiful shift that's going to take place here for you. And especially the fact that it's paired with that Death card here, major changes and major transitions. Um, because the death card represents the sign of Scorpio, Scorpio as a sign is quite enigmatic, puzzling, but it keeps a lot to itself. It doesn't always reveal emotions, ideas, inspirations, goals, etc. So I feel like there's something that you might be working on, but it's behind the scenes, Cancer. So maybe you don't want anyone to know about this. Maybe it's an idea that might come to you. Maybe it's an idea that you've had for a very, very long time. You might get an agent for your ideas. You might get a developer. You might get someone who is able to take that inspiration take your idea or your vision and turn it into the physical you've got a lot of earth cards here and this is all about making things appear in the physical realm through assets and money and businesses and and setting yourself up so that's coming up around you so any sort of ideas that you've sort of kept hush hush uh, maybe there's a launch or a reveal and that's the reveal here um and there's an openness with the Sun card. People are open to your ideas, and because that's a sign of Aries, Aries is new beginnings, Aries is the first of the zodiac. So you're really going to um, set some trends here in the workplace or in career, I feel. Um, but death card could definitely be loss, loss of jobs, walking away from a situation here. Maybe some of you know it's time to move on, okay? Um, it can always resemble a clock here, so it's time to uh, move on. Maybe it's time to try something new with the Sun card. Maybe there's something you've wanted to learn, uh, a test you've wanted to do, a diploma you've wanted to attain, uh, a skill that you wanted to learn, and maybe the universe is sending you very subtle signs, symbols, or synchronous events that is sort of ushering you to that direction, Cancer. And you know, I would never uh, discourage learning a new skill or being the best version of yourself or mastering something. It's a great sense of accomplishment. And I think there's sheer determination here because the determination and the beginning is coming with the Sun card and paired with the beautiful Strength card, which is Leo. Strength of skills, strength of commitment, 
uh, resilience, focus, and again, that sheer determination. It's a very opportunistic time, if that's what you're thinking about doing Cancer. Maybe you've thought about doing this for a long time now, but I feel the window is opening up here for you. You've waited, okay, patience has come up with the Temperance card. You've waited a long time and now you're assessing things, you're looking at things differently. Maybe, maybe this is you thinking about going into management or leadership. The Strength card can often represent a leader. Uh, so you're either approaching someone in a management or leadership position about something, maybe about more money, maybe about a crucial time to change things up in the company, the business, for example. Or it could be that you feel like you're coming into that strength position as well. Lying is leadership and you do have that career progression happening. So for some of you, there's definitely a promotion in the works. Or if, for example, you've received a new monetary offer, um, it's very likely that the company, the business that you're potentially joining has that ability to make you grow and accelerate your skills and uh, nurture nurture you as an employee so it's not somewhere where you're just another number there's a lot of value um and, and, and focus with that sun card here so i feel that's a possibility for a lot of you if you if you've got that i feel like there's potentially someone that sees a lot of potential in you whether it's a such the leo the scorpio that you're working with um and I feel like they're they're looking over your contributions. There could even be a probation period that's coming up. And for a lot of you, it's I feel like it's going to be spun into quite a positive light. Uh, but that Wheel of Fortune does show that things are slowly starting to pay off here, Cancer. So you're slowly going to start to see changes. It's very powerful that it's come up in your career and creative sector. Um, especially with that death card here. But look, it can also be the past, past employees or you revisiting the past, a past workplace, someone that you used to work with, um, maybe a job you used to have, a career you had many moons ago, um, and that might be coming up and suddenly the past is swirling around you and you're, you're, you're giving it thought and you're giving it um, analysis and you're trying to decipher whether this is the road you want to go down again. Um, but past people could also come up in your career and they might have something to offer you you do have loss, but you have rebirth. So for some of you, uh, if there's something that you want to, or something that you've tried before, for example, like you've tried to launch a business, or maybe this is making over your persona, say for example, if you're a content creator, or um, an artist, a journalist in design, there's, there's something that you do here. It's almost like a renewal or a rebirth, coming back bigger, better, and stronger. Maybe making some tweaks and putting yourself back out there again. Um, uh, changing your pen name, for example, um, changing the goods, the services you provide, um, restructuring a business, for example, um, but it's renewal, it's coming back new or with new ambitions and goals, and it's coming back bigger, better, stronger than ever before as well. So that's quite powerful to those in those sorts of um, roles. You're really going to reinvent yourself in a way. Um, in a way that's unprecedented heat cancer. So for the most part, it does look very, very good. Thank you again for connecting. Really do appreciate you popping over. Take care, all the best, and until next time.